with the extracting of the list items so it was this first list item this is the second list item this is the third list item this is the fourth list item we are done with extracting those the next thing that we have to do is we have to go to each recipe available as we click on that it is navigating to the first item so once we are navigated we have to go down and we will try to fetch the method to prepare it and the ingredients required to do that we have to navigate to this particular URL if you just have a look at it here there is nothing but whatever we have extracted earlier it starts with this okay if I just try to separate it this is how it looks like okay here it's like recipe then apple cranberry winter recipe and there is a extra keywords available that is the similar to this so what we have to make to navigate to this particular website is nothing but we have to add this particular URL to our available www.taste.com.au that will actually navigate us to this particular screen if I just go back and then click here you can see it's the same one Zaffle maker apple recipes Zaffle maker apple pies recipe and it should be concatenated with this particular URL to achieve that using UiPath let's go back to the code and here to make it less complex for you I'm reducing it to top one result because earlier we were getting this many results this time I will get only one result that is the top one called apple cranberry winter punch fine now to navigate to that particular item what I have to do is I have to take navigate to activity drag it one thing that I can do is I I can directly go to this particular link I can copy this and I can paste it over here so that it will take me to that particular page but if you observe there is hard coded value which is not a recommended thing while we code something to make it dynamic I can use for each row and I can pass this particular data table to this extracted data table and I know that the URL is available in this particular URL column there's a first column there's the second column so right now I will just take this drag here this is the constant value every time but this will change so let me take row which is this particular item a variable row of here URL let's convert that to string fine so this will give me a dynamic value which is in the top available data table once that is done this has to be placed in attached browser for it to work let's drag attached browser and this into this and indicate this on the screen not this because this is the final page we have to go to this and then indicate that on the screen just be cautious about which screen you are spying this should be the actual thing okay once that is done we are done with placing the navigate into right here with the dynamic values if I just run it once let's see what happens let me go back to the actual web page and then run it once just typing Apple there are such results so it will try to fetch it this time if you can see it has fetched the top one result and if I just click on OK what has happened 
it has taken me to this particular page because this time it was dynamic it has taken the first value this thing concatenated with whatever main URL that we have in and we have landed on this particular page.